everybody, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay. And, and we, we are, are Paro DJ. DJ. Welcome to Icon of the Seas. Inaugural cruise. Yes, this all feels very familiar because <laughs> we just got off a three day preview cruise, but this is it. This is the official inaugural seven day. Yeah, this is when the ship is packed with all those people who have been oh, waiting yeah. for over, I don't know, two years it's plus cool. to get on the ship and it's just filled with excitement and we're excited to be part of it. So. Yeah, seven day sailing. We're going to St. Kitts, St. Thomas and perfect day at Coco Key. It's a good itinerary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, I think we are a bit capacity controlled here because we've heard there's somewhere around what, 5,200 people on board? That's what we heard. For the first few sailings they're keeping it lower so the crew and everybody else can get used to it and make sure everything works. Until it gets to, what, 7,600 yeah. passengers True. plus, probably in the summer is my guess, when kids are out mm. of school and that's when they would sell that many rooms. Yeah, oh. so we're not quite full, no. but it's fuller than it was. If you missed that three-day series, you might want to go back and binge it because we're not going to cover everything as thoroughly as to how it works. And we got to try some things we're not going to get to try this time. Yeah. But I'm still trying to be cognizant of the fact that we need to present in this Correct. one as if you didn't see the three-day series. You know how it is. And there was only about 4,500 4, people on that, mm. so it's, it's a little bit more than that obviously true but yeah. we are here ready to get it started but first we need to catch you up on our morning so now we did use safe cruise parking mm -hmm. love those guys um <laughs> with the parking rates are just going up and up here at port miami it's, it's i think it's still 25 dollars a day right now to park at royals terminals and all the other ones have gone up i believe to 22 yes they used to be 20 and safe cruise it works out to a lot better math and plus y'all let's tell you a secret we have a promo code we do. For safe cruise parking. They were so nice. They've given a 15% discount, which they said mm -hmm. that they do not usually do. If you use code PDJ2024 when you check out, shh, don't tell everybody. It's a secret. <laughs> you can save 15%. So Definitely we, take advantage of yeah, that. Yeah, so we'll get to park for like 11 bucks a day or something for the sailing. I think the math worked out too. Insane. Anyway, yeah. Enough yakking for now. I think we covered it, so let's throw it back to the morning. Let's go. <laughs> checked in at the trailer but they got giant overhead storage areas here that fit our massively overstuffed backpacks. <laughs> Scans, document checks. Let's get this thing started. It's only 11:15. That was so fast. That was really fast. The security, like scanning, is kind of like an airport with a bucket, so that was really efficient. I love that. Second first steps on board Icon. <laughs> ah, this all seems very familiar yet very new. We got the balloon drop set up again. I see. Well, that's the kind of greeting I like. Let's just take it all in. We're excited to see what is different on this actual seven day cruise versus the three day that we just got off. Now we've heard a rumor that cabins are ready and we are ready to ditch these bags. You're doing excellent work down there, buddy. Happy Saturday! Yeah, they've got those smart elevators on here, <laughs> but we had barely pushed the button and boom, that door flew open, so I was running. Sometimes you do have to run to the other side. Yeah. All right. Welcome to Deck 8. Boom. Success. So we have made it to the cabin officially. Now this is almost a carbon copy of the one we just showed in our last series. But let's look at it again quickly. We'll give you a quick overview. And a couple of things are different. There is the door with all the safety information. We've got our thermostat and our um, light switches, which do not require a key to go in there. Bathroom door does stay open. Okay, we were wondering, because sometimes these are those auto-closing doors. Little bar there. If you step in here, you've got some little shelf guys over there next to the toileting zone. Shower, which we did not review the shower in the last series, so haha, <laughs> we'll get to that this time. Oh yeah, let me step in here. Much better angle. Yeah, we've got a drawer down here which you can put things in. Oh, they've given us some upgraded amenities because of that's a loyalty perk. Little sink. We did notice last time when you come to use this sink, it's right up against the mirror. So sometimes if you're, you know, wanting to wash your face or something and you just, oof, you, you, a lot of head contact was made with that mirror. But anyway, there I am. Storage over here to the side, including 
regular full-on two outlets that you can use, not just for shavers. A little hook there too. Stepping back from the bathroom, we do have the full-length mirror, which hides a storage unit of shelves and the safe. Clever. Next to that, we have the closet, which of course, this is a nice tall, hangy thing. You've got a couple more little hooks down there. This is the back of the safe we figured out last time, and a bar at the top. Next to that, we've got the slightly um, shorter area because you do have four wire drawers that pull out. Mm, they make a nice squeaky noise when they do. Holy moly, four of those bad boys. And this unit where you can hang things and do laundry. And they are regular coat hangers, not the ones that are fastened permanently to the inside of the thingamajig. So one little shelf on this side of the bed, regular outlet, USB right up there. There's a lamp. We got the bed with the rounded corners and some swag, y'all. Purple hat, pink hat, nice little guidebook. This actually kind of serves as like a um, program to the theater uh, shows. It's got like, you know, the cast and the crew and all that stuff. TV on the wall. There's where they keep their D's. We'll see her in a minute. There's some storage here next to the TV, including two USB outlets there. Those are standard USBs. The other side of the bed kind of has like a three unit shelf, regular USB outlet, no standard outlets over here. Beautiful artwork, beautiful D. Aww. There she is. <laughs> we never did determine if this drawer did anything. In the last cabinet, we, cabin, we could not open it. It feels like it wants to do something. I'll have to figure that out by the end of the week. Yeah, all right, let's look at mirror D. Um, there's the <laughs> desk. Uh, again, the power solutions. This is, I mean, this is amazing. So you got like your 220, a couple of standard USBs, there, oh, USBs, <laughs> yeah, a 120, and over here, some USB Cs. There's so many letters, you got to get them confused sometimes. Uh, this, this is a movable lap desk style table that you can move around the room. We've got loyalty water. Uh, this is actually a gift from D's um, travel agent team. Uh, <laughs> awesome. I think this is a loyalty amenity because we didn't pick one. I think they defaulted us to a bottle of Avion, but that's cool. Yeah. Let's get over here. So we got drawer, nice and yellow. Ooh, okay. Can I have this? What's this? Is this a book? All right. I think it's a ring circus. Oh, it could be. It was still wrapped in plastic, I wasn't sure. No. Okay, so those are all empty. This we've got. Oh no, that's the room service. Oh yeah. Well, that's the breakfast room service. And the fridge. Yeah, I think this is an inaugural book. Now, I did not see this when we did the preview sailing, so this looks like something special for this cruise, and it's still wrapped in plastic, and it's going to be mine. <laughs> so one thing that I have noticed about this balcony door, it is taller than the balcony door that we had on seven. The one on seven, the, like this part, was six feet tall, and I would hit my head on it. This one is right about six six, so I can just sneak under it. And of course, out here we've got the chairs, the footstools, a table, and we we're on the other side of the ship from last time, so we have views of the terminal building. But yes, I can stand up fully in the balcony doorway, so if you are tall like me, do not get a deck seven balcony where we did, because I don't know what was up with that, but this deck eight balcony, boom. And that is the cabin, so we've got all sorts of paperwork here, some from the casino, some from the regular stuff. I think we can deal with this. This will be good. It'll be great. And the beds were super cozy last cruise, so I really hope this one's gonna be awesome too. Oh, it feels like it. Hey, it's lunchtime. Well, one good thing about living on deck eight, we are on the same deck as the Central Park. So we live up here on the Izumi and Chop side of the world. Yeah. Oh man, this is still one of my favorite zones. Ah, Park Cafe sounds perfect. Yeah. Washi washi? No. Washi washi? No? Okay, so. Whoops, the sinks are temporarily no no. Oh, that feels so nice in here. Now we've got the quick bites and the soup of the day, so that's very sandwichy over here. Very nice. Oh, all those desserts. They got the fresh carving station. Create your own salad bar, and of course the Kummelweck. Now I missed the Kummelweck last week. We're getting it, we're getting it. They got that good spicy mustard or the horseradish and of course that classic bread. Oh, I forgot about the grab-and-go bags of chips. They got Lay's and Ruffles. Oh, 
how the seating area kind of flows from inside to outside. Just, they've got it all opened up. There it is, roast beef sandwich, and they offered to put gravy on top of it. So I got spicy mustard and gravy. Nice little salad, bag of chips, essenced water. Ah, you match the bench. I just noticed that. I can't even see you over there. <laughs> what, what happened? Where are you? The ship is colorful, and I'm like, ooh, I have a pink shirt and a really fun headband, so I'm gonna mount everything. <laughs> oh, we're done with lunch. Now, y'all, we forgot to do our mustard drill when we first got on the ship, so um, it, that's it. It's mustard drill time. The Crown Lounge is officially up and running now. I forgot we didn't get that last sailing, but hey, yeah. And then this is, I guess, eventually going to be the escape room. They've covered over the sign and the doors are there, but the deck map says that that will be an escape room. She's not ready yet. Ah, Muster Station B1, right here at the theater. And we are scanned in and done. Let's see if we can take a peek at Music Hall from the ground level here. Oh, that's right, this is the balcony again. Why is my brain trying to think that this was the main level? Okay, so we did look at this last time, but you know one place we didn't look? Casino. So this place was always open. It seemed like every time I tried to come in here, we didn't get a peek around. So there's all your table games bar in the middle. Oh, they've got the sort of an ATM and like a bill breaker over here, which I do love those. There's the cashier window. Take another peek at this bar. Oh, here's an entrance, or I guess this is an exit out to the promenade. Papa needs a new pair of shoes. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> there are a lot of slots in this place, which I enjoy. And there's more table games over here. What are these? Oh, oh, is this like special VIP table games? No, it doesn't say that actually. Wow. Leprechauns, you love leprechauns. I love leprechauns and Americoins. I do really well on those games for some reason. Just take in all these flashing lights. Okay, let's get out of here. It's too dangerous in here. The only time I can come in here is when it's closed. <laughs> There's the information we needed. We had to ask somebody where B1 was because we saw the signs for B2 and B4, but B1 was a deck down below. Let's head up and out. There we go, elevator E. I gotta say, I do love smart elevators. A lot of people don't, but I do. <laughs> oh, well, let's take a peek at the wind jammer because I hear they actually have quite a spread going. Oh my gosh, they're dressed up as hamburgers and tacos. I am loving the vibe. Wash your hands, wash your hands, everybody wash your hands, everything. Oh, they've got the cute cupcake display up here again. That's awesome. Not as many ice sculptures, but they got the cupcakes. There's an ice sculpture over there, though. Oh, we are ready to settle in and chill, so Chill Island is a good place to do that. Oh, they do have some tunes bumping out here. We'll just take in a few views. Yeah, folks in the pool. They know how to vacation. You can see all the way down into the park where we just came from. All these giant nets and climbing devices and things of awesomeness. It's so colorful. Well, right over here by the hot tub and the giant table that kind of does look a, a sunny side up egg. Here's where they keep their D's. Yeah, <laughs> couch bed. So here is where we will be if you need us. Just chilling. It's always a good moment when you get past some of the hectic hubbub <laughs> of embarkation day. Because when you first get on the ship, even though we just came off of this ship, it's always a mad rush. You're running around, you're juggling luggage, but oh, we're yeah. settled in now. We've got food in our stomachs. Now we just enjoy. Take it easy. It's not as hectic as it could be. The elevator system is definitely helping with that. Yeah. I will have to say, and because there's so much space, people are spread out and like Central Park Cafe was like empty, which was lovely. So I don't know. It's a good embarkation day so far. Yeah. Now we're ready for an iconic cruise. Oh, you Ooh. did it. <laughs> run into Steph and I think we might come in here and look at the wind jammer again maybe grab some food get away from the music for a little bit we have got pasta we have got cold cut type things now this grill station seems to be where it's at here let's 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 peek at this we have got grilled snapper halibut lamb chops filet mignon shrimp Woo. 
Oh, here's some fun seafood. We got mussels, we got calamari, scallops. Is this crab legs? Wow. Shrimp cocktails, lobster tail. Looks like they're down to one lobster. He's barely hanging on. I'm gonna bring more. There it is. <laughs> well, let's see if I can wave to this machine and get some fruit punch. Oh, why can I, oh, there it is. I can never usually figure them out. That's handy. Oh, it stopped. Keep going, machine. I had to dig into some halibut, some grilled shrimp, and some filet, of course. D. Well, we just finished lunch with Steph, Ben, and David, and now we are going to do some promenade strolling. Let's wander over here to the Bucks. Well, they got the treats out here at the Bucks now because they did not have those last time that I recall. And of course, they still got those ship themed mugs. All sorts of prepackaged stuff here. All right, we've got our order in. Now to receive the goodness. There we go vanilla sweet cream cold brew with sugar free syrup. Okay. Settled in here now at the Pearl. Just having a relaxing wander. We also get some nice Miami views out these gigantic windows. Well, I believe we'll head back to the cabin. Dee is already unpacked. I have not started yet, but that sounds like a good project until sail away time. Yeah. Whoa! We have sprung loose from the cabin again. Time to go to deck 17. Beep, two people, two pushes. Why do we keep getting elevator D today? It's a sign. <laughs> elevator. Welcome to cloud 17. Oh, it is jumping out here as we approach firework time. Of course, the skies are a little light for fireworks, but we'll see how it goes. I know we have to sail at six. Well, it is 545. It looks like we have shoved away from the pier officially. No fireworks to be seen yet, but maybe they will boom boom us out of here. Oh, there they are. Speaking of fireworks. Inside. Oh my gosh, we got elevator D again. Well, now we can come back down to the balcony and watch Miami sail away. Oh my gosh, we got the magic carpet out here. Is that what that is? That's a different oh, that's not the magic carpet. I'm, I'm used to it being orange. Huh? Who knows? <laughs> We got a cool little, uh, I was gonna say it's like a little schooner sailboat looking catamaran out there. Anyway, onward. We have two days at sea to enjoy before our first port. Good, Good evening. evening. It is time for a change of wardrobe. Yep. Not for me so much, other than long pants and socks. Uh, <laughs> and we're gonna start the evening portion, so. Yeah, we're not quite sure what we're gonna do leading up to we have the aqua show tonight at 10 15 so we're definitely gonna check that out we need to find some semblance of dinner True. and there's live music so you'll see what we get up to <laughs> yeah now because we have assigned time dining which was five o'clock p.m <laughs> which we didn't make because so, the fireworks yeah yeah we'll see what we do mm -hmm. y'all just come along let's evening let's do it <laughs> Let's have a promenade wander. There is dueling pianos, of course. Looking across at Sorrento's on the lower level, the attic on the upper level. Looks like some tunes are getting ready to start here. Oh, the shops have opened. Look at the line at the shops. Everybody needs all that stuff. Like Black Friday. <laughs> oh, Giovanni smells absolutely delicious. Of course, being open air to the promenade, I wonder about this ambiance. Huh. Schooner bar. Yeah, I heard music coming from inside Giovanni's and music coming from out here. And there is Boleros. They've got some tunes kicking up soon. 
Yeah, I can hear the band has kicked up in the promenade. We're deep enough into Boleros where I don't think it'll bother us. But I can sure hear some Elvis coming from the, the main area there. Oh, I'm all shook up. Oh, oh. <laughs> Now we just learned something interesting from Anika here at Valeros and she said, because it was funny, we were sort of talking and somebody came up and wanted to say hey, and she made sure to let them know that there's a new approach that they're calling like the iconic way, where they're encouraging you to have conversations, interactions with the crew and the staff yeah. and take time out to talk and I thought that's really interesting. That interesting. Because some of the stuff we had heard about Royal in the past is they had gotten into this sort of turn and burn mentality right. where I thought Customer service, but you know, not as much socialization right. with the guests. Yeah, at one point, someone, I don't know if it's true or not, let me speculate, y'all. This is me speculating. Somebody told us that there was actually sort of a timer where they were limited to the amount of time that they could spend with one guest before they needed to turn and burn on to the next guest. But apparently, there's a new way of thinking here on Icon, and that's kind of awesome. It is cool. So uh, we're excited to make relationships with all of the We're going to interact with everybody. <laughs> Woohoo! So, D has come away with, I guess it's pronounced Joropo, J O R O P O. What you got in there? It is Hard Truth Toasted Coconut Rum, Coconut Water, Aquafaba, which is the foam, oh, yeah. simple syrup, lime juice topped with coconut, and shaken bitters. Wow. It was a suggestion from Anika. <laughs> okay, and I got the Caipirina, which is a pretty traditional. I told her not quite as much lime juice because sometimes they're overwhelmed and limey, so she said she'd put less lime and more rum. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Never an issue. This is so good. If you like coconut, it is extremely coconut flavored. It's like coconut water. It's so refreshing. I wasn't sure what to expect, but good suggestion. Wow. Well, that's interesting. Just as the band in Boleros is getting ready to start their set, the gentleman with the iPad, who I guess is like the audio tech, was able to turn down how much of the main promenade band that we're able to hear in here. So there must have been some speakers projecting the promenade band in here. They've turned that down so that we can hear Boleros better. hear the tunes again until we left Boleros. All right, well that's interesting. Let's go to the sky. Ooh, I will go to the sky. I think we are gonna do the Aquadome Market for dinner. Mm, mm, mm. Washy washy. So this is an included option. There is the Crip station. Here is a whole line of goodness at other stations. We got Ginger Station for Asian food. All that fancy mac and cheese at Max. Mediterranean food here at Feta. Toast and Garden, of course, is sandwiches and salads. What do we have? Tea, orange, lemonade, or fruit punch? Or water. Or water. So D has gone for ginger. You got a noodle bowl, yeah? Yeah. Nice. And I got some falafel and some chicken on some rice with some hummus and some good stuff. And I made a weird drink at the machine. Don't 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 talk about it. I saw the orange option and I thought, ooh, is it orange aid? But I pushed it and it was orange juice. So then I was like, ooh, let me switch to lemonade. And then I was like, let me just put tea in there. So I made like a weird Arnold Palmer or whatever you call it. <laughs> Round two, D has gone with broccoli and mac and cheese. Vegetables, they, they make that healthy. <laughs> and I finally get to try the pepperoni pizza mac. I've come back to the crepe station now. This is quite the popular spot. Now they do have the crepes already prepared and ready to go, which for time's sake is fairly amazing. So I think that's good. So D has gone with the classic crepe there and I got the hazelnut and banana. This crepe is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. And now, welcome to Aquadome Prepper. Well, they're gearing up for the 8 o'clock Aqua Show. We've got reservations for the later Aqua Show. But here in this neighborhood is one of our favorite bars. It's rye and bean time. Well, the Overlook is remarkably empty and open. If you saw our last series, it was closed a lot. So let's come hang out down here. There's all kinds of fun chairs up here in this nook. I forgot they got the bar down here too, but Ryan Bean is where it's at. Ooh, they 
they've started the 8 o'clock show! They've still got music playing down here. I thought maybe they would kill this music before they started it, but it'll be kind of drowned out by the sounds of the show, I think. So. Oh, that is the bottom of a lift structure that they've got to bring you down here, and they've got restrooms down here. Wavy, wavy. Yeah, there is the top of the lift right here by the rye and bean, so that will get you down to the overlook. Oh, we have snagged some seats here to catch the aqua show ourselves. They've opened up the pool. I see they've got a special section for Pinnacle happening right over here to the side. I don't know if it's Pinnacle and Sweets or just Pinnacle. Anyway, here we are. Let's enjoy. to the Crown Lounge. It's pretty late, but let's see what's happening in here. Ooh, please tap card. Do we have, oh, it's, it's down below. Do I have access? It's I'm red. Sure. Help. Oh, oh, there you go. Green. Well, as soon as you come in the door, you've got the sort of concierge desk there. A little bit of seating here, but the main room is uh, this away. So a bunch, a bunch of tables. There's some art on the wall. We got some books back there. Almost like a little library set up. Not too many people in here, actually. There were just a couple of folks and they just left. Bar. Over here on the other side of that library wall, you got a little bit more seating. So this is a pretty gigantic uh, crown lounge, I'd say. I'm glad we came in here when it's empty. Yeah, let's spin around and get the full effect. Oh, yeah. here's the uh, coffee side of things. It's pretty much everything is closed. There's no water. Hey, there's me in the mirror. No water, no snacks, no coffee, but still fun to look at. We'll be back. Well, our EECC friends are hanging out here at Dueling Pianos. Let's see if we can catch up with them. Oh, it's almost balloon drop time, and there are a lot of excited folks. We are just going to station ourselves down here at the end and just see what we can see. Man, it's like New Year's Eve down there. Oh, 
look what elevator we got this time. Heck yeah. <laughs> Good, Good morning. night. Oh shoot, it is morning again. You seem to have an issue on what Icon of the Seas of not going to bed before like at least 1 a.m. But it's cool, we're having fun, we're hanging out with friends, obviously. Guys, so. it's quarter after one. <laughs> So good morning. We'll be up at seven. It's we fine. just got done <laughs> at the piano bar with them easy, easy people. Yes. So let's talk about our evening. All right. Yeah. Where, where should we start? Aqua show. Oh yeah. Okay. So we got to leave dinner for last, even though we're not really digging into it too deep. Yeah. Aqua show, y'all, called Aqua Action. It is really well named because it's all based yeah. on like action type movie soundtrack. You guys, I love that it's an indoor venue because they can do so mm. much more with it. It's not based on weather or anything like that. It was incredible. A lot of technology, which I like. So much. They had those little things, the light dudes that rotated. They kind of <laughs> reminded me of Odyssey, how they had those, they, in, they invested in, in those robotic arms. Yeah. yeah. A lot of good stuff with lights going on there. So much talent, mm -hmm. like from the dancing to the synchronized type swimming oh, to gosh. the acrobatics to the slack line, which is like my favorite thing ever. Everything they do in that show is so difficult. Good. I cannot imagine synchronized swimming because you don't touch the bottom. No. Of <laughs> slack line, all that balance. But here's a tip for you. If you cannot get reservations, mm. you can sit in the seats behind the bleachers. That's they're weird. not part of the show and they're so comfortable. Mm -hmm. Just go early, get one of those. If for some reason you can't get, or you can do the standby and get in 10 minutes before the show. Right, but you can be better off by snagging one of those cozy seats just behind those little benches. You may have benches. to sit up tall to see, but um, it was fine. It's so comfortable. Because I'm tall. <laughs> anyway, definitely recommend that show. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. All right, what's next up on the agenda? Piano. Du piano, bar. dueling pianos. Dueling pianos. We went to the adult session, I must <laughs> say. So I only recorded the clean sections, but they were funny. So so funny. They play off each other so well. It's mm -hmm. all request songs basically. So whatever you can think of, if they know it, they'll play it for you. True. I like that about it. It's not like a set list of any sort. Set list. <laughs> and they are amazing singers. Apparently mm -hmm. she can, her name's Sarah Angel and she okay. can sing just like Janis Joplin. We, we missed, missed that. that, but maybe one night we'll catch that. So yeah, it was so She sang good. Paramore, which I was impressed yeah. with also. Dinner. Good time. Dinner, we went up to the Aquadome Market. I'm not going to throw pictures in there because you saw it. <laughs> so what did we try? The... I tried ginger. Yeah, and I did A little bit of macaroni and cheese, and then we did um, mm. crepe. Crepe. Holy crepe. Uh, pretty good overall. I like the ginger concept. Now, see, I got mine on rice last time, and you got yours on noodles this time. The noodles were overcooked, sadly. Mm. However, the chicken teriyaki or beef teriyaki, whatever meat I got. Whichever one. I don't remember. It was snow peas yeah. and something. Um, that was really tasty. Yeah, get yeah. it on rice because the rice was good. Yeah. I got my Mediterranean bowl on rice. It was excellent. I didn't know until after the fact I was supposed to have gotten garlic sauce, apparently, because he was like, good. get the garlic sauce, but I put tzatziki and hummus. <laughs> Still very good though. Yeah. Uh, macaroni, I didn't mm. enjoy the pepperoni pizza macaroni as much as I thought. Now last cruise I got the chili mac and it was good. They put a bunch of chili seasoning and macaroni and really made it different. This was kind of just like macaroni that they put pepperoni in. I couldn't taste anything else happening. Now there's nothing wrong with that. I tried to be healthy and get the broccoli mac and mm. cheese. So healthy. Unfortunately, it didn't really have any flavor. It didn't taste like cheese. There was like not really much salt. It was not bad, but it definitely needed a little more seasoning yeah. and cheese if it's macaroni and cheese. But I'm not a huge macaroni and cheese fan, so maybe I'm just not the right person for that. Yeah, true. I just hit you. I'm sorry. You did. <laughs> but you know what? It's free. So try it. Is. Them. It is included, yeah. Decide for yourself. And if you're in doubt, get the chili mac. Yeah, I kind of really liked that last cruise. And then we did the crepes. Yeah, that was great. They are very good. Even though they're not like super, super made fresh crepes. Mm -hmm. They were pretty fresh and they were pretty good. And you can get gluten free. You just have to ask oh. and they'll make it fresh for you. So Dang. really cool. Look at them tips right there. I mean, we're trying to help you guys if we That's can. true. <laughs> now we're going to help ourselves Go by going to, to bed. We have got two sea days coming up. Yes. I said that earlier. Uh, so <laughs> we're going to try and get some water on the ship. Oh, It's going to be busy, but yes, it exciting. Is. Cause y'all saw that balloon drop and how many people were down there on deck five. Uh, as I was recording it, I said, that is the shot that is going to make people not want to come on this ship. But you know what? We don't hide stuff and it is like it is. So there was, it was like New Year's Eve, I'm telling mm -hmm. you. Just a bunch of bodies. But when you're down in it, it's, it doesn't feel that yeah, bad, honestly. There were it disperses last, quickly. Yeah. Last week, it was a bunch of bodies and we were down in it and had fun. Yeah. It's fun. Everybody's just excited. New ship, you know. That's it. 
Good night. Good night, y'all. Good morning. <laughs> Whatever. And when you see us again, we'll probably say good morning. So, good see morning. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I should point out, we did not have a cruise compass on the bed. Cruise compass is back to gone green. So for the pre-inaugural or preview event, they did give us the paper copies. But I guess we're back to digital now. So right now, it looks like the link is still just bringing up the day one compass, which we do have a copy of. And they actually have the Spanish version of the compass on here. But tomorrow, we should be able to refresh this link, and it will give us day two.